yo, 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 I say, yo, what's good YouTube, it's your boy Jarens coming at you guys with another video, if y'all new to the channel, make sure you leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell, so anytime I upload or stream, you guys will be notified, now let's get straight into today's video, so today, we got a nice little video for y'all, I got a nice little video for you guys, make sure that, you know, drop your comments, all of that, but basically guys, today I'm going to be talking about patch four and i'm gonna be talking about some of the next gen news that 2k has dropped for us um and it's only going to get better and better as the weeks go on but let's get into it so first things first if you guys don't know 2k did drop a patch for today i didn't even know a patch was coming but they dropped a patch for today and we're going to get straight into it so the first general patch notes that are there it says halloween has come to 2k beach beach goers will now find halloween themed decorations throughout the neighborhood so you guys might not be able to see it Obviously it's not in this gameplay because this is like a little bit of an older gameplay, but it's nothing significant You could compare this video to what you're seeing in the park right now and you'll see it's literally nothing That's really different. Um, the next thing for the general patch notes is player likenesses have been improved for more than 60 NBA and WNBA players Welcome to the NBA finals heat versus Lakers is now the default quick play matchup <laughs> Preparations for new 2k beach events coming later in october and november stay tuned for more information through the coming weeks um so yeah that that's <laughs> oh man that's really it for the general notes just a bunch of random stuff again but um for gameplay it says adjustments to make set screen movement more realistic so it says adjustments to make set screen movement more realistic um i don't know if that's gonna help us with the pick dodger they just need to buff pick dodger that's 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 all i want to see in a patch note. i want to see pick dodger has been buffed that's all they need to do um next thing they said is fix content holes that led to inconsistent sidestep pull up jump shots changes to shot aiming system to prevent modded controller abuse <laughs> okay that's pretty good that they're trying to address that park dribble moves still performed with l3 now require hall of fame tight handles badge to use also disabled park dribble moves when calling for screens to prevent conflict with switch screen side function so that's for the gameplay they did address some things that were really annoying like obviously the modern controllers now i personally thank god have not came across a player that was using a modded controller but hey it is what it is like i'm happy that i didn't um so the next thing they fixed was some my career bugs i guess that they had now it says right here fix some issues where my player doesn't win over new fans after certain in-game achievements fix the hang that could have happened when exiting my court after playing a 2v2 or 3v3 game in my court so that was it for my career next thing it says is my team preparations for the first 250k my team unlimited tournament game day preparations for the second season of my team general improvements to the exchange added warning when skipping silver or gold badge upgrades for hall of fame badges address an issue when player cards appeared on ball drop boards so that's it for my team and then um you know there's my gym and my league but i'm so so sorry i really do not play that game mode at all so i'm not even going to address it i'm sorry if you watch or you play that game mode and you know I'm, I'm sorry i just don't play it but um so yeah um if you guys don't know they have also dropped an article on 2k21 next gen to be exact and um honestly I guess you could say that they touched on some pretty decent things because you know we all know next gen's coming out in about a month or so so they did um you know drop some important stuff in there basically i'm just going to touch on the main points and i'll leave the article in the link in the description if you guys really want to read through it but i'm only gonna like i'm really gonna read the most important things um as i get a reload right here i don't know why but basically um pro stick shooting there's gonna be a shot art control so basically it's like i'm not even gonna prolong it basically um you're going to have more control of your shooting that's if you're using the pro stick so if you're using the pro stick and you want to have add a higher arc to your shot you're going to be able to do that um and if you want to bank shot control you're going to also be able to do that um there was there was a bank shot control years ago in 2k before so i don't know why they're trying to act like that's a new feature but hey it's nothing new they're a pretty scummy company at this point and they just keep recycling stuff so that's only if you're going to use the shot stick that you'll be able to do that on um, the shot meter it says the shot meter is such an important tool for shooting and for next gen gets a new look and plays a bigger role 
in your makes and misses so they basically you know fix the shot stick meter or they just fix the shooting meter as i should say so i'll leave that you know i'll put a little screenshot on the screen so you guys can read through that um, also, it says touch around the rim. Layup timing is something that many players have struggled to master. Every layup has a different release point, and you must have really good reaction time to nail down the meter. Um, so, in all honesty, guys, the only way I've seen anybody deal with layup timing is if they're using a stick, which you don't have to use. You can just use your square button. Like, I don't know why 2K tries to make players use this thing that's just a lot more difficult to use when you could just use the square button. It literally makes zero sense. But hey, that's what they said. It says shot creators. We've completely revamped all of the all dribble jumpers and added new signature packages for key players like LeBron and Luka Doncic. So guys, remember all the stuff that I've been saying about the shot stick time or the aimer, like the arc, all these things you guys are hearing right now are next gen gameplay stuff. I already just went through the patch four notes. I hope you guys paid attention to it. Right now, this is all next gen gameplay news that we're getting that we're gonna see implemented in next gen. So don't think you're gonna be seeing this in current gen, you're gonna be seeing this in next gen. Uh, so yeah, basically, um, it says pull-ups have been separated into two categories, controlled and high momentum. So basically just the, you know, uh, all dribble shots are gonna be much, much more broken down, which I like, it just adds more content to the game. Um, you can have more signature players pull-ups and it's pretty cool if you ask me. Three point line recognition. There are some great nuances or nuances that we were able to capture thanks to next gen hardware. So basically your players is gonna be more locked in in terms of taking a three. You know, if you're just just right at the deep mid range, you're not gonna get pulled into the mid range. You're gonna be able to shoot your threes a lot more consistently, you know, you know for those deep shots. So that's pretty good. Um, and there's some other things like pro stick dribbling, um, you know, just more advanced stuff to your pro stick dribbling. And then there's a thing, a new thing called sauce, like signature moves. There's a whole lot of new signature dribble moves, content for next gen. LeBron gets a suspended dribble. So basically just some more content for the dribbling. Um, the park handles, same thing. I think they implemented this in current gen too, I'm not sure. But it says right here, you know, you'll be able to fix through all of that, blah, blah, blah. But um, yeah, I touched on the main stuff, guys, the main important things. I'll leave the article and the link in the description and whatever screenshots I can put on the screen, I will put them on the screen for you guys in, you know, in terms of the important things I touched on. But yeah, I dropped the patch for notes for you guys if you guys haven't already heard it and some next gen gameplay that, you know, we're going to be seeing obviously on next gen. Hopefully we can get our consoles day one. I'm trying to get my console day one so I can have that content for you guys right away. So if you guys want to see all of that and more make sure you guys leave a like on this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload or stream i appreciate all the support but that's pretty much it it's your boy john ranks and i'm out y'all peace gang they cannot do it like him uh, uh -huh. nobody shooting like him gang nobody doing like him that nigga hate everyone cause he broke and that's why nobody like him gang sd gun night talking this shit